LEARNING MORE TONIGHT ABOUT A ROSEVILLE ATTORNEY ARRESTED FOR ALLEGEDLY TRYING TO MEET UP WITH A 13-YEAR-OLD GIRL. DEPUTY SAY PAUL CARRERAS WAS CAUGHT DURING A STING AND NEW TONIGHT CBS 13'S JENNIFER McGraw IS LIVE IN THE NEWSROOM WITH MORE ON THE DETAILS IN THIS STORY. JENNIFER? Yes, yeah, same injury, and deputies say these two men had every intent of committing a sexual act with a teenager. But luckily, when they arrived at the park, there was no real girl. Nowadays, you can meet just about anyone on the internet. He uh, put an ad on a popular online uh, website looking for a curious, younger, sexy girl. And sometimes it leads to a dangerous situation. This man understood very well that he was meeting a 13-year-old. Placer County deputies say it was all a part of a sting. When 64-year-old Paul Carreras showed up at the park to meet the girl, investigators slapped on the cuffs. And as it turns out, Carreras is no stranger to the law. When it's somebody in a position of trust that gets arrested, it's, it's a little more disturbing than usual. According to his website, he's a practicing criminal attorney in Roseville to, quote, I know the streets, I know the law. That's because he also claims to have been an officer. That's terrible. But I think that since they're going to be around, you don't know. I mean, it could be anybody. David Dillard has young children and says it's easy to keep a close eye. But as they get older, it gets harder. Since it could be anybody, that as a parent, it's your job to better police your own kids and not let them meet strangers in the park. Keep an eye on them. Fortunately, this was only a sting, but that's not always the case. We all have seen it on the news. It happens. So for every one of these cases that we prevented, you know, we're thinking maybe that's one less girl that was victimized. Deputies also arrested 23-year-old Derek Alcaser of Dixon. They say he was persistently calling who he thought was a 13-year-old and ultimately trying to meet her at Regional Park. And we tried reaching out to that attorney, but had no luck. Both men are being charged with the intent to commit a sexual act with a minor. Troubling to say the very least. All right, Jen McGraw live in our newsroom tonight. Thanks.